the science guy. I'm Nalini Nadkarni, and I'm a forest ecologist. I study forests, and I'm one of the few scientists that climbs up to the forest canopy to study what's going on there. Here goes the rope. Up and over. I started doing a lot of public engagement about trees, I guess about 15 years ago. All the films I was making, the talks I was giving, I wasn't really getting at a very large segment of people. I was basically preaching to the choir. And I realized about 85% of the world's population self-identifies as being religious or believing in God. I've never been to this part of the library before. So I thought, wow, you know, if I could connect and engage with them, I'd have access to far more than just scientists. So I began with the Bible, and I started reading the Old Testament, and lo and behold, the first chapter, you learned about the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Thou shalt not cut them down. For the tree of the field is man's life. That is so great. That's Deuteronomy 20. Right there in the Bible, it says don't cut down trees. That is great. There is power in these other ways of knowing, religious ways of knowing, indigenous ways of knowing, or artistic ways of knowing. And to me, that's just a better understanding of this complex thing that we call life in the world. So I put together all of this information into what I began calling a sermon called Trees and Spirituality that drew upon all of these sources, but the main message was that trees are important to all of us. There was perhaps some skepticism of like, what is a scientist doing up there in our pulpit? But at the same time, I think there was a curiosity. In the past, you know, religion and science were at loggerheads. Right. And now that they're actually kind of on the same team, asking the same kinds of yeah. questions. And there's this philosophical idea called intellectual humility, of, of coming to another way of knowing with humility, with an open mind, with the idea that common ground might be found. To create something that's connected and complex, that's useful and that's beautiful, and that's stronger by the weaving together, then you have something that might actually contribute to the world in a different way. Okay, I'm coming up. Today I got up much higher than I ever had before. I was able to shift the ropes around so that I was actually able to get to the very top of this tree. I feel most strongly when I'm up in the canopy looking out over those trees. Whoa, I can see forever! And that's when I feel spiritual. I think of spirituality as the Dalai Lama defines it as connection to all of these living things. It smells great. To the trees, to the plants, to the animals, and to myself. Like I'm in the right place. I am me here. <laughs>